Xingxin and Yuan Shen's underground romance is precarious. Ling Wei breaks Xingxin and Yuan Shen kissing. Luo Xinxin and others want to enter the store to order peach blossoms. Yuan Shen also wants to follow in. Xingxin pulled Yuan Shen away and asked Yuan Shen if he wanted to order more peach blossoms. Yuan Shen had to say not to order peach blossoms. Afterwards, Xing Shen Li Wen took a boat and lived in the world of two people. During the period, Yuan Shen's hair was blown into his mouth, and Xing Shen helped Yuan Shen to lift it away and wiped Yuan Shen's mouth. Xin Shen thought that Xing Shen would do intimate actions, but Xing Shen said to wipe his saliva. Xing Shen and Yuan Shen were walking around the alley. Ling Wei accidentally saw Xing Shen and Yuan Shen's back but did not confirm their identity. At this time, Xing Shen and Yuan Shen went to the hairpin shop to buy. Yuan Shen liked a hairpin but was too expensive. Xing Shen took the initiative to help Yuan Shen pay for it, and also helped Yuan Shen insert the hairpin, but Xing Shen went straight from the front plug is issued. Xing Shen and Yuan Shen changed into Hanfu, and Xing Shen helped Yuan Shen buy Maki. Xing Shen kept watching Yuan Shen eating Maki. Xing Shen didn't eat what Yuan Shen handed to him, but wanted to feed Yuan Shen himself. Seeing Yuan Shen's cuteness, Xing Shen slowly approached Yuan Shen, who covered her hand when Xing Shen was about to kiss him. Xing Shen smiled and ate the maki in Yuan Shen's hands. To avoid suspicion, Yuan Shen asked Xing Shen to take a step first. Yuan Shen explained to everyone that he only chatted for an afternoon when he met his junior high school students. Chen Kinan teased the two, saying that if it weren't for Tai Han Yan, he wouldn't lie and he thought they were lost on purpose. Xing Shen, Yuan Shen and others talked and laughed, but they did not expect to encounter Ling Wei and Dai Yeking. Because Yuan Shen and others booked the youth hostel, and Ling Wei and Dai Yeking booked the hotel, the two teams separated. Yuan Shen and the others did not expect Ling Wei and Dai Yeking to move to the youth hostel with them. Ling Wei said that moving to the same dormitory felt more secure. Lu Jianying unceremoniously pierced Ling Wei for Xing Shen. Yuan Shen kicked and motioned to Lu Jianying not to continue. Lu Jianying also told Luo Sinsen and Zhu Song Yang that Ling Wei was following Xing Shen. The three roommates secretly remind Yuan Shen not to be calculated by Ling Wei. The three roommates agreed that it was not a coincidence that Xing Shen and Yuan Shen disappeared at the same time during the day, and asked Yuan Shen if he had secretly hooked up with Xing Shen. Yuan Shen went to the balcony to hang towels to avoid the problem, but happened to encounter Xing Shen also on the balcony. Xing Shen said that he wanted to experience Romeo and Juliet's rendezvous on the balcony, grabbing Yuan Shen and let Yuan Shen accompany her boyfriend. Yuan Shen and Xing Shen talked about love on the balcony, and they happened to be seen by Ling Wei on the balcony next door. Yuan Shen concealed that he collected towels from the balcony and immediately slipped back to the room. Xing Shen also turned his head back to the room. Chen Kinan suggested to everyone that he would participate in game activities next which just met Xing Shen's requirements for free activities. Ling Wei upstairs secretly heard the arrangements made by Xing Shen and others, and postponed visiting the ancient town of Dai Yeking, and decided to go to the same place with Xing Shen and others. On the beach game competition site, Yuan Shen's roommates and Xing Shen's roommates both urge Yuan Shen and Xing Shen to participate. Xing Shen also directly signed up with the staff and said that Xing Shen Yuan Shen, but Yuan Shen said that she would not participate in order to avoid suspicion and wanted to stay. Look at the package. Yuan Shen wanted Xing Shen not to participate in the game to abuse dogs and watch the bag with her. At this moment, Ling Wei ran over to ask Yuan Shen if he didn't want to play the game tacitly. Yuan Shen said that he wanted to watch the bag, and Xing Shen was so angry that Yuan Shen had not been public and promised to accompany Ling Wei to the tacit match. Xing Shen even left his bag to Yuan Shen's care. Dai Yeking stayed to accompany Yuan Shen to look at the package. During the period, 
He said that Ling Wei's depression had been cured in the last semester, and the medicine stopped. Yuan Xin was worried about Ling Wei's recurrence. Dai Yeking defended Ling Wei and said that Ling Wei was not ill and was extremely healthy. Zhu Song Yang came over with a bag and told Yuan Xin that Ling Wei and Sing Xun really wanted to participate in a task match between two people. Yuan Xin said with enthusiasm that he would watch the scenery and not watch the game. When Sing Xin played Chen Kunin's team, he did not join Ling Wei's team, saying that he wanted a male partner to break the rules of the game. In the competition you painted I guess, Chen Kunin painted fantastically, but Sing Xin could tell at a glance. After Sing Xin finished the game, he gave Yuan Shin a glass of freshly squeezed lemon juice to cool off. Yuan Shin was barely satisfied with Sing Shen's performance, although the first bit of lemon juice was sour that she vomited it out. Sing Shen hinted that there was a princess in the last link, hoping Yuan Shin would not mind. Yuan Shin imagined that Sing Shen hugged Ling Wei, feeling that the law of nature was difficult to tolerate saying that she was the champion woman. Yuan Shen heard that Chen Kunin had won the phone, and then knew that Sing Shen was competing with Chen Kunin, but the scene of the two men hugging each other still made Yuan Shen's eyes hot. Chen Kunin said that Sing Shen did not want a cell phone, as if he wanted a necklace of eternal first love. Yuan Shen immediately went to Sing Shen, implying that today was a good day and asked Sing Shen if he had any prizes. Sing Shen said it was given to Chen Kinen. Yuan Shen turned around and found Luo Sin Sin had a necklace box in his hand, and asked Sing Shen why he gave Luo Sin Sin a necklace. Sing Shen said Luo Sin Sin wanted it, and he gave it. Yuan Shen was so angry that he didn't want to play with Sing Shen. At this moment, Luo Sin Sin showed Yuan Shen the necklace box which was full of stones. Luo Sinsen said that Sing Shen only gave her the necklace box, and the necklace was of course exclusive to Yuan Shen. Yuan Shen cooked Sing Shen, saying that he had only cared about the feelings of those around him, but ignored Sing Shen's feelings. Yuan Shen said that he would disclose the relationship between the two when he returned. Sing Shen felt that Yuan Shen's sincerity was not enough. Yuan Shen covered Sing Shen's eyes and proactively kissed Sing Shen. Can deepen the passive to the active, deepening the kiss with Yuan Shen. Ling Wei accidentally saw the scene of the two kissing on the stone wall.